Next up is Broadcaster. Everyone, thank you for coming out and breaking the terrible weather. Dave, thanks for organizing. If you don't mind, just going to step away from the mic and prefer to project. Uh, my name is Kyle. This is my brother, Matt. Uh, we are Broadcaster. Uh, my brother's responsible for making sure that everything works, and I'm responsible for trying to do everything else. <laughs> so you might ask what Broadcaster is. Uh, Broadcaster is a free, easy to use live blogging service, sharing cool stuff as it happens. As it currently stands, people are live blogging about all sorts of things. Be it a conference, a sports game, a concert, a TV show, virtually anything that Steve Jobs says. People are sharing this information in real time. Why are people doing this? Live blogging is extremely engaging, and it's also interactive. Additionally, people just like sharing things with people who are social, and frankly, it's quite fun. So people are already live blogging, what are they using? Uh, the majority of people are turning to Twitter uh, as a live blogging service. However, unfortunately, it wasn't built for this use case, and so it suffers from a number of deficiencies. So much so that prior to live blogging, people were often warning their Twitter followers the experience is going to be bad. And afterwards, they're apologizing uh, to, to their users for the terrible user experience. Additionally, if you've ever tried searching for an event after one's taken place using a hashtag, you often find content is difficult to find. But if you do find it, you're not really sure what you're looking at. All the tweets and comments and, put and messages directly to the uh, user are all in the same stream. This is very difficult to determine uh, what was actually said in real time. <coughs> there are a few other services out there that are trying to tackle this live blogging problem, uh, but they're mostly enterprise driven. Uh, as you can see, they produce embeddable widgets that you can put onto a pre existing domain, and frankly, they don't look very good. They're not very social, and they're just not something that consumers would use. So, how do we solve these problems? If you sign up for Blogcaster, you're given a unique URL based on your username and a profile page which you can share basic information about yourself. You can also have some basic statistics on the side as you would a traditional uh, social service. More importantly, you can see what events uh, the users blogged about in the past and what events they're going to be blogging about in the future. In this case, on my profile, I'm going to a Tiesto concert in two months from now, uh, which you can see on my profile page. If you haven't seen a Tiesto concert, I would highly recommend it, where at a minimum, watch my blogcast and be pretty awesome. To give you a better sense of what an actual broadcast looks like, let's take a closer look at this Celtics broadcast broadcast, uh, which I did this past Friday. As you can see here, each broadcast itself also has its own URL. So in this case, it's very easy to share the Celtics and broadcast broadcast to my friends who can watch it in real time or after it takes place. They can easily log in using uh, Facebook or Twitter or broadcaster to leave comments in real time as I share media, including pictures and, and text at the moment. As you can see here, one of the comments I found particularly interesting, so I decided to repost it to let my followers see what's going on. On the right here, you'll see a number of statistics about both the broadcast itself and the user myself, on top of how many people are currently watching the broadcast. Oops, great. I'll show you guys a quick demo so you can get a sense of how uh, Blogcaster works. So for the demo, I'll be bouncing between two pages, the dashboard, which is what you're looking at now, and the blogcast page, which is what Kyle just showed you guys. So let's take a look at the blogcast page. So this is a blogcast that I'm currently doing of tonight's event. Um, you can see there's, a, there's an area right here to leave a comment or comments. Uh, you can see Kyle left some comments previously. And then below that, the mouse go. Uh, do you see the mouse pointer? Give me one second. There's some. I think the. I think the system just rebooted. Yeah, my computer just rebooted. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Does anyone want to do questions now, and then we can get the demo yeah, back? Yeah, we can do questions now, and we'll get this booted. It definitely just froze. Yeah, that was unfortunate. But uh, any questions, we'll get this going in a second. Uh, I have a question. Uh, how will you monetize it? Uh, so initially, we're uh, focused on a freemium approach. So to the end consumer, it's always going to be free. It will uh, have you know, premium options on top of that, uh, like domain mapping. Uh, and the future of it is to allow full HTML and CSS customization. Uh, so if a larger uh, person with a large following or someone like ESPN wants to do a live blog, they can easily pay a premium price to have full customization. 
Yeah, rather than the embedded widgets that they're using now. Yes, the, the, the current option is to embed this widget on your page and it looks really terrible. And so a lot of companies that, that want to live blog actually aren't just because the experience looks so bad. And so if they're able to fully customize it, maybe look more like their own domain, uh, people will like to use it. Could you give us an idea of the feedback? Hi. Um, since you've started, could you give us an idea of the type of feedback you've received from your followers? Sure. So we, we launched uh, within the last week. This is less than a week ago. Okay. Um, so feed, feedback has been slightly minimal. Um, and we're, we're still building the product as we speak. So while you can sign up, there's a lot of development still going on. Uh, so one of the things that we've had most feedback on is just how do you discover broadcasts. Uh, and so we're working on building a solution that's easy to find, what Facebook friends are already using the service, uh, and you know what people you should be following based on your email address. Thank you. It's just a lot of things. Uh, could you talk a little bit about your underlying technology platform? Yeah, I can. I can speak to that. Uh, everything's built in Rails. Our backends uh, are written in Erlang. We leverage uh, DJabberD, which is an XMPP server. Um, the iPhone app is obviously written in Objective-C. Um, everything's running in Amazon's cloud. We're using EC2. Um, pretty standard stuff. We're using Comet to make everything real time. Oh. I'm just curious, since you're using Amazon, for just a basic startup, you yeah. know, with you said you're still, you know, at the very, very early yep. stages. Sure. How how has it been working with with Amazon's cloud, and and what sort of costs have you had to deal with? It's been really great, in my opinion. It, our bill is two hundred dollars a month. We have, you know, I think three instances running. Um, it's you know capital efficient. It's easy to get running. I have a I have a really deep Linux background, so for me that stuff's all really easy. That's my bread and butter. Uh, I think for people that might not be as efficient on the command line, it might be a little more challenging, but uh, it's worked great for us. Um, I'm sure eventually we will. We have no plans at the moment, but I, I know that's definitely right. on the list. Yeah, we're attacking low-hanging fruit, so we went iPhone first, since we uh, yeah. both have experience with them and have a better understanding of the user interface that than iPhone. definitely is on the list, though. I might also build a slightly faster computer <laughs> that, boot, <laughs> that boots a little bit more quickly. But uh, yeah, it's still booting. If you want, we can I don't know, show, show at the end or something. People uh, are interested. Yeah, definitely. If you're interested, stop by because it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff. Is there, is there any way this is going to All right. Is uh, uh, 